Hi friends! I hope you're all doing really well. Um, today I'm going to show you all of my crystals in my collection. Um, I made one of these videos last year, but I have gotten a lot of new things and also uh, gotten rid of a lot of things since then. So I thought it would be fun to show you everything I've collected and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So starting off, I have this gorgeous powder blue angelite tumble. I love this piece so much. It's really, really calming. Then I have this super high quality Namibian sodalite tumble. I got a kilo of these for my shop and I ended up keeping this one. This is my sweet rose quartz tumble. I think everyone needs a little rose quartz pocket friend and this is mine. This piece is technically my boyfriend, but I'm including it anyway. It's just a nice little tiger's eye piece. And then I have this mini lab palm with some sweet orange and pink flash. And this is a moss agate cube that my boyfriend bought me from my shop. This is a sweet little chrysocolla and malachite tumble stone from my friend Emma who runs Crystal Vibes. Definitely check her out. And this is a blue lace agate tumble from Malawi. This is also from Crystal Vibes. It's an Andean blue opal tumble with the most amazing dendrites. And this is also from Crystal Vibes and it is a blue shelite tumble stone. I love this piece. So the first slab in my collection is this lovely piece of chrysoprase. I love this color. It's so unique. It's like a green-blue mix. It's really bright. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but trust me, it's really nice. And then this is a gorgeous big slab of dendritic jasper. It is so mesmerizing and super nicely polished and cut and it makes a great base for other crystals. Then I have this obsidian sphere, a classic. You gotta have it. I think you can see my boyfriend in the reflection, so that's cute. This was my first sphere ever. It's a smoky quartz piece and my boyfriend got it for me right when I was starting to get really into crystals. It's a little bit beat up because I've had it for a long time, but I love her. This is a bumblebee jasper sphere and I love bumblebee jasper. I feel like it's underrated. This sphere is super intricate and gorgeous. This beauty is a petrified wood sphere and the colors are so bright and I'm pointing here to this little vein of quartz that's running through it. It's really pretty. This piece is from my good friend Cassie Rose. I will of course link her shop down below. This is just a lovely little rubellite sphere. It has a really sweet soft energy. This is another one that's hard to show on video, but this is a gorgeous moss agate sphere, but it's yellow and purple instead of the usual green. I love this piece, it's so unique. And this is an ocean jasper sphere with a gorgeous orange druzy vein running through it. Such a cool piece. And it's got tons of quartz druzy all around it. Then I have this Big Mama Ocean Jasper Sphere. She's a gorgeous purple color and um, has some blue banding and a bunch of pockets of druzy. The energy of this is just unreal. I love this piece so much. This is my huge rose quartz sphere. It's gorgeous, super lovely quality. I snuggle with this one a lot. It's a super nice bold pink color and it has a star in it. I am obsessed with her. And then this big boy is my blue calcite sphere. Again, it's a little bit washed out with the light here, but rest assured it is so blue and um, really, really calming.
and I can't believe I almost forgot this little guy, but this is a moss agate, except it's like only the white part. It's so cool. First for the miscellaneous polished is this awesome Bumblebee Jasper mini freeform. So cool, super bright yellow. And this guy sits on my desk and encourages me to do all the work. This is a garnet dodecahedron. It's so lovely. The color is beautiful when it hits the light like this and it has some sparkles which are just gorgeous. This huge chunker is a black opal freeform. I love this piece so much. It's like every single time I look at it, I discover something new about it. It's so mesmerizing. This beautiful carving is an ocean jasper Gaia goddess carving and I love her. She looks so powerful, so strong, so badass. That's how I'm trying to be. Here I'm spinning her around so you can see her booty. Lovely. This is my Sunset Flash Lab Freeform. I'm super picky about Labradorite, but this one hit all the marks for me. Look at that flash. She's a beaut. Then I have this beautiful Botswana Agate Freeform display. This one lives in my bedroom because I find the energy so calming and like perfect for that wind down nighttime routine. This is the kind of crystal you want in your room. This gorgeous piece is raspberry fluorite from Anhui, China, and it's on this awesome chunk of matrix, so it stands just how I'm showing it to you. And this piece also has some pyrite on it, which is super cool. This is my treasured calcite from Sweetwater, Missouri. It has gorgeous marcasite and a little bit of chalcopyrite, and it's just a really special piece. This is a gorgeous Spanish blue barite. I really, really like this piece. It's pretty fragile, so I don't really snuggle it, but I do put it on a shelf and stare at it. And then I have this super simple, rough, black tourmaline. This one is sort of weird looking, but it feels good. This is a Bulgarian uh, pink calcite with chlorite quartz combo piece. It's pretty wild and um, I just kept it because it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. I really like it. This weirdo is Moroccan fluorite with quartz and calcite and hematite and pyrite on top and my best friend has a matching piece to this and they fit together perfectly. This is my gorgeous Cobaltoin calcite. My lovely boyfriend got this for me and the color is so gorgeous and the sparkle is amazing. I cannot believe I have this piece. I just think it's so special. And it's super flat on the back so it displays awesome. This was a gift from my sweet best friend. It's just a beautiful little piece of sodalite and I love it. This is actually something that I had in my own shop and I ended up keeping because I liked it. It's just a peach calcite piece. Speaking of calcite, this is my Big Mama raw blue calcite. If you can't tell, I really like blue calcite. It's just so calming. This piece is so unique, it's really weird looking. It's this big agate geode and it displays like this. It's like a little cave. Um, I just think there's like a whole world going on inside. It's such a cool piece. This is my dragon calcite from China. It's basically etched calcite, so it looks like dragon scales. And I just love this huge termination with the tiny little sidecar friend. I think it's a cute piece. This is another fluorite with quartz on top. Um, this one, the fluorite is much more blue and the quartz is much more clear. And um, there's rainbows in a lot of the quartz pieces. And there's also pyrite on the fluorite. So it's like so many things that I love in one. This is a classic polychrome jasper, just a little raw chunk. 
This baby is one of my absolute favorites. It's a super cool barite and pyrite on top of fluorite. So basically what you're looking at is those yellowy cubic pieces are the barite and then the gold is the pyrite. And if I flip it over, you'll see that it's all sitting on this gorgeous purple and blue fluorite. This is my grape agate piece. I really like grape agate. This one is super sparkly and it has some cool chalcedony sort of off growths, which are so nice to look at and so sparkly in the sunlight. Here I am showing you the sparkle. This is one of my most treasured pieces. It's this gorgeous red banana night and my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas and I was so surprised and so excited. It's like exactly what I wanted. It's a dream. I love it. This is dog tooth calcite with fluorite growing on top. It's such a weird piece. I love collecting the weirdos like this. I like the idea that I have things that no one else has, but I also like the classics as you'll see later. This one was also a gift from my sweet boyfriend. This is a lovely piece of tourmaline with lipidolite from Brazil. It's so sparkly, such a soft vibe. I love it. It's like so reflective that the camera's not doing it justice, so sorry about that. This is another classic, small piece of orange calcite. You gotta have it. This is my aquamarine piece. That's me swatting away a fly. Um, this is my aquamarine. I really like aquamarine. I have this piece for now, but I hope to upgrade one day. This is a cool piece. It's um, Druzy Marcasite over quartz with these red sphalerite rosettes. This piece is from Missouri. I think it's so cool that the earth makes this. This is another one of those things that I got a flat of from my shop and ended up keeping one. This is a super nice Spanish purple aragonite. I just couldn't sell it. I love it too much. This piece is Lipidolite with pink tourmaline and I cannot get over how juicy that tourmaline is and how sparkly the lipidolite is. I really like pink crystals for some reason, pink and purple, so also ignore the cat hair. I'm so sorry. This is an apophyllite piece. It's on this chalcedony stalactite, so it's growing up super tall. And then this is a red apophyllite. I actually have two of these. This is the first one. She's a little baby. Very sweet, super sparkly, and really unique. And then this is the bigger one I have. Apophyllite is one of my favorites, so basically whenever I find a new kind of apophyllite, I have to buy it. Here I am pointing out that it has a little green spot. So cool. But literally nothing compares to this apophyllite piece. This is my beautiful prize possession, green apophyllite on this gorgeous peach still bite. I still can't believe I scored it, and I got such a great price on it. Um, the huge green apophyllite chunks have the most incredible rainbows in them and they're super saturated. It's kind of washing out right now but when I flip it around you might be able to see a little bit better. It's like this gorgeous lime green color and I'd never seen anything like it. And the back is cool. It has a little bit of matrix. I love this piece so much. I feel so lucky to have it. This guy is a cool little twin terminated disco quartz. I think he's so cute and um, I've just got him on a little stand so he stays upright. This is my Zambian citrine point. I love citrine and somehow I only have one Zambian piece. This is my mango quartz aka quartz with haloisite or haloisite. That's the orange stuff. These are my two small baby Congo citrines. Congo citrine is one of my all-time favorite crystals, so I have two little guys to put in my pocket whenever I need a boost. This is my lovely candle quartz. 
It's cool. I like candle quartz because it sort of looks less exciting than other crystals, but something about that energy, man. I love it. This weirdo is an inner Mongolian quartz, and it's like a bone quartz. It's totally opaque, and the back is full of this super, super shiny arsenopyrite, as you can see. Very weird. This is a gorgeous piece of green praise quartz, also called Hindenburgite included quartz. I love this. It gives me magical fairy vibe. This is a weirdo. This is my limonite coated spirit quartz. Basically, it's the same material as that super pretty sparkly spirit quartz you see, except it's coated in this yellow limonite, which makes it look honestly way cooler to me. I love it. It looks super earthy. This is my boyfriend's amethyst piece, but he wanted me to include it so he doesn't feel left out. It's cute. It's a cute piece. This is my blue smoke Colombian quartz. I freaking love this piece. The quartz is so clear at the top and I meditate with this one a lot because it just feels really, really nice. Can you tell I love quartz? Okay, this one is a Herkimer diamond and it is huge and full of rainbows and feels so good in the palm. Like some crystals just feel so good in your hands and this is definitely one of those. And then, of course, I have to have an epidote and quartz piece. I love epidote, and this piece has gorgeous, like, color contrast. I love her. This is a lithium quartz cluster from Brazil. Lithium quartz is really, really calming, so it's perfect for someone like me who has some anxiety. This is also a really good crystal to have in your bedroom, so um, it can help you, like, wind down before you go to bed. This is just a cluster of clear quartz. I'm sorry the camera is super washing it out, but it's a lovely little like spray of quartz. Then I have this watermelon tourmaline and smoky quartz from Brazil. The tourmaline in this is so juicy. I've literally never seen anything like it. Here I am pointing to the tourmaline. I'm obsessed with it. And I almost forgot this, but I didn't. This is my Demorturite in Quartz. And this piece was from my boyfriend as well. And it's another one of those pieces I like never thought I would own, but here I am. Mama, I made it. I love it so much. Then we have this super cool amethyst from Brazil. It's a really nice deep purple and it has a little bit of citrine at the very bottom, which is so cool, especially in the sunlight. This is an amethyst with cococcinite, and I don't know why I love these so much, but I just do. I have another one here. This is also amethyst with cococcinite, and something about them just makes my heart sing. I think it's the color contrast. This is my Thunder Bay amethyst, and it has so much quartz growing over top. It's like so sparkly and juicy. Juicy is the word I would use to describe this. This is my little baby Bramberg amethyst piece. She's a good pocket crystal. Then I have this smoky quartz from Nigeria. I love the way it grew. It's got kind of a curve to it. It grew sort of like bulbous and it has some cool stuff going on at the back. And behold, my huge Congo citrine. This thing is giant and probably, well, definitely one of my favorite crystals. There are a ton of gorgeous terminations. Only a couple tips are damaged, which is like pretty hard to find. And it sits perfectly. This is one of those pieces that I will never let go of. You can pry it from my cold dead hands. I love her. And this is me attempting to turn it around to show you the back, but it's very heavy, so that's why I look like I'm struggling. It's because I am. So starting small, I have this little clear quartz point with 
a another piece of quartz growing in through the back and it also has some silver rutile at the very bottom but that's hard to catch on camera so you'll have to take my word for it I love this piece it's a really nice little pocket companion same with this one this is a great rainbow fluorite piece and the colors are so bright and it looks really really cool when you backlight it too This one might look boring, but honestly it's one of my favorite pieces. It's a super nice clear quartz with chlorite and it just brings me a lot of calm. Then I have this char white point. That's me flicking off a cat hair. I'm so sorry. This is my only piece of char white and I think it's all I'll ever need. I love this piece. This is a sweet phantom amethyst point. I love points that are like nice and chunky like this. This is a super cool blue Russian Chalcedony tower. I love how tall and skinny it is. This is my yttrium fluorite. This is really new, like I literally got it last week, so we're still working with her, but I think she's gonna be a good friend to me. This big mama is a hematoid fire quartz tower, whatever you wanna call it. She's very heavy and very chunky and I think just looks so nice displayed. The energy is is unmatched, truly. And she's full of rainbows, so what more could I want? And then this is my huge, here I am petting it for some reason, my huge rose quartz point. Um, it's cool, it's raw at the bottom and then only polished at the top. So it gives a really nice contrast and she is very heavy so you're gonna see me struggling a bit here to turn it but gorgeous gorgeous like stripes throughout I love it and rose quartz honestly I know people think it's boring but get yourself a piece of rose quartz that you really bond with and then we'll talk Okay, and this last crystal I feel like deserves a section of its own because I'm obsessed. This is my big, big, big mama danberite with calcite on top. I, I still can't believe I own this. The fact that I found this and that it was available and that I could afford it, a blessing. I just feel like I had to show it separately because I haven't shown it in any capacity really. So she deserves her spotlight. And there she is. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll try to link as many of the shops down in the description that I can remember. Um, and of course, follow me on Instagram if you want to see some pictures of crystals. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.